Hi everyone, I'm Susan Jacob and in this video I'm going to show you a technique for brown cataract phaco emulsification and this is called the crater and chop technique. It was described by Vanati M. et al. So you can see a brown cataract here and the first thing I do is a trepan blue staining and then I fill viscoelastic again to get a taut anterior chamber in order to be able to form a good wound. I then do a rexis. The pupil is not widely dilated and so I take the rexis margin under the pupil so that the rexis uh, ends up slightly larger than the pupil size. With sufficient experience, this is possible to do by uh, tearing the capsular flap parallel to the rexis as well as keeping the flap flat on itself and in a way that it mirrors the direction that the rexis should take. A gentle multi-quadrant hydrodissection is then done taking care not to cause a capsular blowout. Uh, the nucleus is then rotated and once this is done I felt that I would like to have some more pupillary expansion and so I used the B hex ring designed by Suvain Bhattacharji and uh, it is very easy to insert as you can see here it's very thin and goes in through small incisions. I put the first flange in using a Sinsky hook and the rest of the uh, flanges are inserted using a micro forceps. Uh, since the last flange could not be accessed from the main port, I create the side port for FACO and then use a micro forceps through the side port to put it into position as well. So this gives me a better pupillary dilatation now and uh, you can see that I am going to start the FACO now. Notice that the FACO tip is adequately exposed because I am dealing with a brown cataract and as I said earlier, I am going to be showing you the crater and chop technique so what you do in this technique essentially is just create a crater in the center of the nucleus with high power and low vacuum and it basically debulks the core of the brown nucleus far away from the endothelium within the capsular bag once the uh, crater is created it's simple to go ahead and break the remaining shell using a horizontal chop technique so as you can see here I use multiple horizontal chops and emulsify the fragments in the space that is created by the crater so uh, these are two big advantages of this technique one is that uh, since you are uh, removing a large bulk of the nucleus by creating the crater and this phaco energy is being utilized far from the endothelium uh, there is less chances of endothelial damage second the fragments are also uh, able to be uh, emulsified uh, far away from the endothelium within the capsular bag in the space that was created by the crater the last fragments are brought up and emulsified in a more anterior iris plane uh, in order to avoid a sudden post occlusion surge and a pc rupture you always look for lost fragments which may be trapped under the iris or in the angle or in the uh, sulcus or uh, near incisions and these should be actively looked for and removed. There is not much epinucleus or cortex generally in these brown cataracts and uh, these are removed in conventional techniques uh, using the IA probe. Once the epinucleus is removed, the cortex is removed and if uh, there are any hard to reach areas, a bimanual cortex aspiration may also be done. Viscoelastic is injected and the intraocular lens is then injected into the bag. In this case, once I injected the intraocular lens, uh, I found that it was not centering well and the superior haptic seemed to be folded on itself. And uh, when I tried to investigate, I found that it was actually entangled on the BHEX ring. So what I did is disengage the ring from the pupil and then uh, try to pull it forwards to see where exactly it was entangled. And I saw that the haptic had actually got caught on the ring. Uh, it was a relatively simple matter for me to uh, free it up by uh, using a rod to lift up the BHEX ring and then just simply push the IOL haptic into the bag. I finally went ahead and removed viscoelastic and that was the end of the case. So you can see a very clear cornea on the first post-operative day and this is one of the advantages of decreasing the amount of phaco energy that the endothelium is actually exposed to. I do hope you enjoyed watching this video. This is one of the videos amongst my series of chop techniques for brown cataracts uh, which are in my YouTube channel that goes by my name Dr. Susan Jacob.